Welcome to Spitfire Mods. <clears throat> Today we have a special treat here for you guys. Um, our supplier has agreed to send us one of every model of the Scottle machines uh, from the IR6000, HR6000, all the way up to the IR360 and the um, HR360 and the HR. 460. Basically, every machine on their website today, as of uh, January 2013. So today we're going to be looking at the IR360 and going over basically what you get uh, in the box with the IR360. And <clears throat> as you can see, here you have a. It comes with a soldering iron, which we're not going to hook up um, since this is a demo unit. We're going to try and keep all the parts somewhat intact here. So you'll have a soldering iron, you'll have a soldering iron holder that plugs right in the side of the unit, right down here, next to the um, air wand. You have your air wand utensils, uh, you have a, a cheap uh, probe there which we'll probably replace, and then you have some different nozzles. We put a couple nozzles on the unit. Um, it, this one only came with a 41 millimeter as the largest one, so we went ahead and put the uh, 41 on the bottom, so we have the 55 on the top right now until uh, we ordered a 50 millimeter to come in so we could shoot some re-bowling videos and um, we're going to need that for that. So that's what's in the box there and then you also have some rails here which we're going to install which are going to help us with support, uh, board support. So we'll be putting them on shortly. Uh, we'll go ahead and put on our our individual side rails here for board supports. You're going to have four positions, four screws um, in there, so we're going to use the first, the first three. And then, um, just spread those out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be walking you through initial setup of this machine but we're also going to walk you through profiling from scratch since we haven't profiled this machine um, we profiled this machine once before but it was a uh, earlier version this is the version 3 so we will be profiling the new version that just came out and we're going to video the entire process of, of profiling the new new model so you'll be able to see all the different steps in getting your machine ready and profiled for use. We're starting with the hot air head unit. Uh, this does have a, a second unit. It comes with an IR and a hot air top and bottom. Uh, well, it has a hot air in the center of the bottom and then a lower IR, and then we have the hot air top, and then it also comes with a comes with a separate IR top, which we will open up later on possibly in the reballing video. So we have our unit all, all our board supports in somewhat in place here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut open these um, lower board supports. some little uh, we have some little uh, Allen screw bearings in the bottom of some sort I guess that's to kind of allow you to roll them back and forth but they kind of stay tight in place there's no groove so I'm not sure what the bearings are really going to hold into because it looks like you can pull them right out but we're going to be using those as a lower board support so it'll be set from the bottom anyway um, those are going to sit on the front front and rear rails, the roller rails, and then we're going to probably use one of them. Typically we use one for a center support. Um, it looks like this one's going to be a little rough. I'm not sure if we're going to catch a center support or not, but we'll see how it comes out. Typically we loosen up all of these and we bring our left side in first. The front on the left and then the front on the right. As you can see this is a little tight. But 
but we should be able to just get a PS3 board in there. And yes, our rail rail is not really going to work for a center support, so we may have to uh, change over to something else. I think we'll use a. Uh, I think we'll go with one of the older HR HR supports. Let's see how that works out. So by angling that, we kind of got centered here. So we're all good except we're snagging on the back corner there, so we're going to pull those studs out. So they're not in our way. Nice and flat. And we got some front and rear support, also center support, so we don't get any sag. We're gonna tighten everything up. We'll be running a few of these boards. And some reflows. Now we're gonna check our nozzle adjustments. Front to back is set. This one has some nice travel on the front to back. A little better than the uh, HR 360. It's a little tight front to back. Alright, so that should give us plenty of coverage on the top. Our lower jet is nicely uh, 
adjustable down there, so that should give us a good shot on the bottom. We'll just back that down about a quarter inch, and our top we bring down almost till we're touching, and set our stop there so that we can catch it each time. So everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and uh, clip our board in place, keep our corners from rising up at all. Alright, so, this machine's a little noisy, so when we turn it on, it'll be a little harder to hear, but <clears throat> our board's all in place. Now, since we're profiling the machine, the first step we're going to do is um, we're going to probe some places on the board so that we can take some readings. Uh, we're going to want to know what under the heat spreader is picking up, and then we're going to want to know what um, what the bottom of the board is on the out, away from the air nozzles so we can see what our lower preheater is going to do uh, versus our our air jets so um, let's go over this unit quickly this is the uh, Scottle IR360 and on the left side here starting from the left to the right we have our air flow adjustment for our top hot air which is right here, so that's going to adjust the volume of air. We set it to about six. And then we have our HR sensor and our IR sensor. IR sensor is top unit when you put your IR unit in place, and HR is top unit when you put your hot air unit in place. At least that's the uh, that's what the uh, manual had said. So we're going to check those out, see, uh, see if that's how that's working. The cooling fan is our cross flow fan, which is right here. It cools our board down when we're finished. Vacuum is for the vacuum pump. IR cool is if you have the upper IR unit on, that's going to be your IR cool switch to cool down the upper unit. IR preheat switch, when you turn this switch on, it kills both these panels and just runs your IR, bottom IR. So this, this again is your bottom IR panels, which are over here. This is your lower hot air, which is in the center under the board. And this is your top control, which is up here uh, for your top hot air. You have a left and right light, which are right here on the left and the right and then you have a start and stop switch this whole section right here is for your soldering iron attachment um, we're gonna leave that off uh, since we don't have it attached but you can adjust your temperature for your soldering iron it has a digital readout for your soldering iron and then um, our software here we're gonna be monitoring with the BGA mods software uh, there's also software that came with the HR 360 we're gonna take a look at that briefly as well but uh, looks like we're all pretty well set up here. Um, it does have the typical left and right heater switch, which is basically your furthermost right and left plate, so you can shrink down your heating area if you're not doing a large size board. Has a main power switch on the left hand side, and your serial port interface is on the back. And that's all that's on the back. So you got a serial port interface on the back, a power switch on the left, all your controls are on the front. <clears throat> and then you have your soldering connector. If you're soldering iron, you have your lower hot air jet ad height adjustment and your side plates, left and right side plates. And uh, the rest of the controls are on the front. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to stop here because we're almost at our 15 minute mark. So we're going to stop here and then start another video so that we can go over some more detail on setting up a profile and we have some profile sheets we're going to key in some profiles for startup and then we're going to also connect some probes so the next video we will um, we will show installing some probes to monitor our board for our initial profiling and then also put in a, a set a base profile and also show you um, how the software allows you to, to kick in the one profile the software on this unit only allows you to kick in the one the one panel so we'll have to manually put in the second the second control panel but this ends our first uh, our first step in the IR360. It's a pretty nice unit. Um, all in all, uh, seems to everything checked out. Our, our our air control flow adjustment was a little bit off, so we're gonna have to play with that. Um, we had to work with it a little bit to get it to adjust, but everything else checked out fine on initial testing. So we're gonna stop now, and then we'll catch catch up on the next video.